Thanks for joining us today. My name is Matt Smith and I'm one of the pediatric otolaryngologists here at Cincinnati Children's Hospital. I'm going to talk to you today about otitis media. It's surprising but up to 90% of kids by the age of 5 will have an episode of otitis media. Annually, 2 million children are diagnosed with otitis media in the United States. Here at CCHMC, within our division of otolaryngology, we perform approximately 3,600 ear tubes every year for kids that have otitis media. When seeing kids in clinic with otitis media, it's important to delineate between chronic otitis media with effusion or recurrent acute otitis media, as these entities are treated differently. Kids that have chronic otitis media with effusion typically do not present with fever, but instead present with ear pain and a middle ear effusion that does not clear. The middle ear effusion will be serous or mucoid, typically not purulent. For recurrent acute otitis media, kids do present with fever. They also will present with ear pain and a purulent middle ear effusion. Sometimes the eardrum can even be red as well. When diagnosing either entity, it's important to perform a proper history and physical. On the physical exam, it's important to look in the ear and specifically address the movement of the eardrum. Is there a middle ear effusion present? It might be purulent, which would suggest recurrent acute otitis media, or it might be mucoid or serous, which would suggest chronic otitis media with effusion. You want to perform pneumatic otoscopy in order to assess the movement of the eardrum itself. If you don't have that available, but do have tympanometry available, that is recommended by our American Academy of Otolaryngology Head and Neck Surgeons. On physical exam, if you notice a tympanic membrane perforation, persistent middle ear effusion that's lasting longer than three months, cholesteatoma, or signs of mastoiditis, which would include a red and swollen mastoid, any of these red flags should prompt a referral to an ENT specialist. The treatment for each of these entities is different. That's why it's important to delineate between the two. For chronic otitis media with effusion, antibiotics are not recommended. Proper pain control and making sure that the effusion clears is the most important thing to do for these children. For recurrent acute otitis media, antibiotics are the mainstay in treatment. First line would be high dose amoxicillin or augmentin. If patients are penicillin sensitive, then cephalosporins are definitely a good choice. If patients have a severe penicillin allergy, then azithromycin or clindamycin would be recommended. If kids have failed multiple treatments of antibiotics, it might be worthwhile to perform IM rocephin shots. If we're getting to that point, that's a reason to refer to an ENT specialist as well. Thanks again for joining us today. If there are any further questions or concerns, please feel free to reach out to us through our divisional email, ent at cchmc.org and you should receive a response back from a clinician within 24 to 48 hours. If you need prompt response, please use the priority link number to contact our ENT physician on call. Thanks again.